I want to show you why a chimney leaks. Most of the time it's the, the grout, the cement uh, grout or the pointing. This has repointed the whole chimney, but it's starting to crack again. A field stone chimney are the mo hardest, hardest to seal, hardest. Mm -hmm. Then what happened was somebody uh, sealed this skirt flashing uh, a, a, with the roof. It was all sealed. You see all the tar here? But that's not where the leak is. The leak is right there. Right there. If you look in that, that's where the, look, look how wide the crack is here. Look. Look. See that? Water just gets in there. That's what you need to seal. Every chimney has that problem. This is where it's going to leak all the time. So this is called skirt flashing. This has to be down all the way. And then you have to cover this. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay? So let me, let me, let me explain. Okay, let me explain this flashing. This flashing is called skirt flashing. And it's covering this roofing material that goes up behind it. See there? Now when, when it goes up, the roofing material only stops right there. It doesn't even have to go up that far. But you can see the calcium, see the calcium or the lime from the cement? That means water sometimes goes behind here. And that is the issue. You cannot rely on this little copper that goes in here. This, this copper that goes in here, you cannot rely on that to stop the water from going in. Water goes in there and goes behind, like I just showed you the lime. This is skirt flashing, supposed to bring the water from here over this, over the flashing, over the roof. That's what it's supposed to do. But it's always leaking here. And I'm gonna show you now how to repair this uh, permanently so you don't have that problem. Most of the problems are not here, they're mostly here. All right, let's fix it. I'm gonna do it with Turbo Poly Seal, and this is what I do, I use. There's almost no other product, I'm telling you. I've tried many products and they don't work. So, if, <laughs> you, gotta, um, you gotta stir this. Check this out. Okay. You gotta stir it. There's some fleece or whatever, fleece over on the top. You see that? Normally take that out. Okay. All right, so what I do is, I paint this uh, Turbo Poly Seal over that area and that's why you have to do this it doesn't matter which chimney what how well the chimney is built it can be a good chimney this is the place where it's going to leak so you you coat this with a turbo poly seal just like that look it's brown so it's going to match the copper it's not like you're gonna see it it's sort of matching the copper okay okay so put the thickish coat on all along I put my fleece this is polyester fleece right over that joint that's the key to make this seal never never leak again. All right, got it short. Sticks to cement. It sticks to metal. And that's the, the beauty of this. And anybody can do this. If you are a homeowner and you have a chimney that leaks, this is the first place where you look for it, the leak. And then you can fix it. This is the same stuff. This is the same stuff, turbo poly seal. I did the same thing on this entire wall. And look, unbelievable. Look at the flexibility, come here. See the flexibility? Look, flexibility, unbelievable. This is the whole wall is done like this. And I did it two years ago and it still is okay. So there's no ways Anybody can say this is not good.
the caulking, I took the caulking out and I painted with turbo poly seal and it lasted a long time. So, turbo poly seal works. Right? You can fix any chimney. Turbo poly seal. Thumbs up. See you next time.